Alright, hello and welcome back to Dudes and Dudettes to another Dino Dutts Craftopias tips, tricks, video, uh, guide, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we are here now as a version, and it's going to be the date first, it looks like, 2021 1011.131, that's the version. Uh, as of right now, the farm still works for Heated Mineral Farm, and I'm just going to show you a quick, easy way to do it. You can prep a little bit more and make it a little bit smoother. Just kind of depends on how you want to do it. I'm still experimenting a little bit. There's a still you could do a whole bunch of things. Super simple. Uh, what I would recommend first is you are going to want a mono, like a pet mono. You can use spawned out ones as long as you got them captured. Uh, but having a pet mono or even a prince mono, if you got a prince mono or a pet mono, it works either way. The prince mono works the exact same way. So I've got a little floor here as you can see. But what you're going to want is you don't need 10 floors, maybe 3 max. You're going to come to hell, of course. I'm going to go ahead and put this. You're going to want to do this because you're going to want to get it kind of further out. You don't want it to be too close to land, otherwise they're going to catch on the land and stuff. And they still can catch. And it's actually a pretty funny way when they're done spawning that you can do this. But you just throw one, two. You're going to need about... Ah, well, watch out for that because apparently that wants to do... That just comes up... Every now and again, that will come up. Every now and again, it won't. It just really depends on the game. I've had it not come up, and then I've had it come up. It just... The game doesn't like me right now, apparently. Every time I start recording, it has to do that, apparently. So, you are going to burn a little bit. You are going to cook some. I would recommend next bringing in some of these guys right here. The point for this is you want to set this a little higher. It kind of makes it a little bit smoother to constantly spawn these guys. So, we are going to... Kind of get it up there if we can. Oop, um, or not. Let's try to get it up here. Oh, come on. Come on. They usually float. Okay, well, apparently I lost that. <laughs> so that can happen, so be careful. What, what? You. It'll come back, apparently. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to place a sprinkler on top of this, like I was trying to show you. Really? Again? thing never stops oh come on sorry it is taking a second sometimes this happens the setup can be a little frustrating let's see right now the lava is just being more active now that I'm recording apparently all right so get up here like I said you're gonna set one of these here this is just to kind of keep it going a little higher because you are going to want a little bit of height there we go a little bit of height to keep them keep spawning and whatnot it's not too bad I guess what you could do to make this a lot smoother and I know I'm wasting a little bit of time here and I apologize for that is you could build this come up here and the lava shouldn't hit you from right about here I don't think I could be wrong come over here and set another one right here what this is going to do is this is going to create a little pathway for the monos that are going to stack like the Tower of Pisa, as I call it, to keep spawning. Because as soon as they get high enough, they're going to quit spawning up there until they get a little lower. But this actually helps create it down. So what you're going to do next is you can see I have 52 heated minerals. So you're going to take a Prince mono, a regular mono, or even a green mono. Throw them over. Don't don't throw them into the lava. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, get out of there. Alright, you might want to work on your aim. You could set it closer if you would like. It's completely up to you how you would like to do it. I mean, you could even stand here and do this real quick and then jump away. Um, like, jump fast. <laughs> you don't need double jump. You can do it however you like. You can set this up however you want. But as you can see, the sprinklers are going to keep hitting them and duplicating them. They're slowly duplicating. As they get higher, the ones up top should keep duplicating too. We're going to take him back so he does not die. It works better with a pet. My sub, Curious Merlin, actually told me about this. It's actually really smooth. And they're being a little weird. There they go. Looks like they're still kind of spawning. But you can even throw your mono back over there. Oh, if he can, wants to go. Oi, oi, oi. There we go. So you can throw them back over there, keep them duplicating if you can't get it to work at the first time. Throw your mono over there, get them to work again. And then begin the spawning process and keep going. As you can see, we've already got three water gun parts, which you can use for like the water farm, water gun, tree farm, video, like 
water on tree farm like I did in the video. Uh, but we are watching them spawn now. They're finally working a little better. Like I said, it can have a little bit of issues. But as you can see, they keep going and going. They're just kind of falling in there. You've already got one heated mineral right there. We've got four water gun parts, two heated minerals, three heated minerals. They're still going. I mean, you could keep this up for as long as you like. Just, you know, work on your aim a little bit with throwing your pet. But, you know, throw them out there. Let the sprinkler go. Pull them back. And as you can see, like, since they're up there now, the sprinklers that are up there, you can place multiple sprinklers to keep it going faster. But it's going to keep spawning them up there. Like, as you can see, it's a huge tower of these guys. Like, usually they're safe up there, and they won't fall as quickly as the ones on the bottom. The ones on the bottom, I've noticed, are more prone to walk because they're fresh spawned. But this just kind of keeps your heated mineral farm going. As you can see, we have several heated minerals down there already. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six six seven now eight i mean you can keep this going for as long as you want i mean best part is once it's done spawning if you want you could pick up your sprinklers on this bottom platform and then just drop the bottom platform like just wipe it all or you can keep doing what i was doing now and keep respawning it but anyways dudes and dudettes that's the mono heated mineral farm we're gonna go through and pick up everything so i can show you exactly what we got you will have to heal. Hell is a little brutal. So just keep in mind for that. Every now and again, you're going to want to pick up your platform because the lava thing, as you saw, can't hurt it. You can place it higher to avoid that. Um, but, you know, just to let you know, like, hey, it's it's going to happen. You're going to get hurt. Unfortunately, absorbers do not work in hell. They take a damage rate of, I think it's 50 a, da 50 a tick for damage. So without that one heated minerals you see right there, we've got up to 66, technically 67 if I get that last one there. But you know 13 heated minerals in less than i want to say two minutes maybe three minutes i don't know how long the video is isn't too bad you know your setup's the longest part of this but anyways dudes and dudettes if you like the video please like share subscribe tell your friends and your family and i will catch you dudes and dudettes in the next video stay classy